the iPhone 16 is here. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to talk about the rumors about the iPhone 16. We just got an iPhone 15, but people were already talking about the next iPhone. So right now, without further interruption, let's get into the video. Apple released their iPhone 15 lineup less than a month ago, but people were already talking about the next iPhone, the iPhone 16. I have already said in my past videos that some people believe that when Apple Vision Pro comes, this will be the killer of the iPhone, which means that the iPhone 50 will be the last iPhone to exist. Personally, I believe that Apple will continue making iPhones because this is what is making the company so popular alongside with their other products. Yes, Apple Vision Pro will be a cool device, but when you check the price, actually iPhones doesn't seem that expensive comparing to the Apple Vision Pro. So, what we know about the iPhone 16, we're about to find out right now. The iPhone 16 is here, and this is what we know about it so far. So, Apple would up keep its phone lineup intact with this year's iPhone 15 release, but that could change in 2024 with the potential arrival of the iPhone 16 Ultra. Rumors suggest Apple is working on a super premium version of its smartphone with a night over launching it as soon as 2024. Much like the Apple Watch Ultra piles top of the line features upon the standard Apple Watch, the iPhone 16 Ultra would be positioned as a step up from the current iPhone Pro models with a more substantial feature set and a price tag to match. While it's early in the rumor cycle, we've heard that the iPhone 16 Ultra could feature an even larger display than the iPhone 15 Pro Max, solid state buttons, and several camera upgrades. Here's what we know so far. So, as you can see, people are still speculating about the iPhone Ultra. Will this thing happen or not? We don't know. What we know so far is that there is no iPhone 15 Ultra, what people thought it would be. Instead, there is a regular iPhone 15 and Pro models with titanium. So it is something new, which people kind of speculated, but didn't know if it was true or not. So I'm not sure if there will be a third group of iPhones to the lineup. So what, there will be like iPhone 16 Ultra and iPhone 16 Ultra, like what, Max? plus or like this bigger size it gotta be a name to be different from the pro max and the regular plus phone but as you can see the ultra is still speculating i believe that some people even speculated there will be a 14 ultra alongside with the rumored apple watch ultra but there wasn't so let's see what else apple has for us when a new device is coming People are checking the price before they are buying it. So let's see what we know about the iPhone 16 price. So if we don't know a release date for the iPhone 16 Ultra, or even if the phone is coming to 2024, then we are even less certain about the price. The iPhone 15 Pro Max saw a price increase this year by $100 to $1,199. That would seem to set the floor for the iPhone 16 Ultra price especially if the Ultra ends up succeeding the Pro Max as Apple's top-of-the-line phone. I'm going to throw this here to tell you that it's not an increase. They just removed the 128 GB, which costed $1,099, and started with 256 GB, which is $1,199, and the 14 Pro Max 256 GB cost the exact same amount of money so there is not an increase they just removed the 128 gigabytes and started directly at 256 let's continue for what it's worth the apple watch ultra 2 starts at 799 which is 400 dollars more than apple watch series 9. if apple were to apply the same pricing strategy to its phone lineup an ultra model would come at 1399 dollars and that is 400 dollars than the iphone 15 pros 999 starting price that would not make the iPhone 16 Ultra the most expensive smartphone out there. Both Samsung and Google changed 1799 for their foldable phones. 
but it would price the Ultra outside the most shopper's budget. We're pretty sure that it would be a non-starter. For now, we just assume that the iPhone 16 Ultra would cost around the same as the iPhone 15 Pro Max and adjust our expectations as more pricing rumors emerge. So if we follow their directions, so what they're saying, their logic, yes, if it's Ultra, it's more than the Pro, so of course you cost more. But how much more it will cost, we still don't know, because Pros are already expensive, they are advanced, so what more can you add to an Ultra that is different than the Pro and it's even better for the content creator? We don't know what the price will be, we still don't know, but I assume that it might be how they said around the Pro Max's price or even slightly increased, but not as Google's and Samsung's portable phones. Now, let's talk about the design and the display of the iPhone 16 Ultra. So, the biggest iPhone 16 Ultra rumor is that Apple could grow the display from 6.7 inches from the iPhone 15 Pro Max to 6.9 inches for the new flagship. This would be the biggest screen ever on an iPhone. As for the iPhone 16 Ultra display itself, a rumor leading up to the iPhone 15 launch has suggested Apple might use newer Samsung panels that offered more brightness. As it turns out, the iPhone 50 Pro Max's peak brightness remained as the same 2000 nits maximum outdoors as the iPhone 14 Pro Max. But it's likely the iPhone 16 Ultra will turn to a brighter panel, especially now that Google's Pixel 8 Pro boosts the display with a peak brightness of 2400 nits. Another iPhone 15 Pro rumor could also find its way to the iPhone 16 Ultra design. Some had expected Apple's new phones to feature solid state buttons. Instead of moving like the current volume buttons do, the buttons would instead use haptic feedback to indicate the press. The advantage of solid state buttons is that it reduces the number of moving parts that can break down over time. So, as you can see, the rumors about the iPhone 15, which didn't come true, are going to the iPhone 16. Will they come true or not? Nobody knows. I will say that these rumors are people's expectations and what they want from the new iPhone, but it's not happening soon. And will there be even an ultra phone? I'm still doubting it because three phones on in a lineup, like people are already buying the pros, like the content creator or the people who use the camera max out. But what can the ultra do? What can it do? I would like it to have a little bit more brightness outdoor because yes when the sun is shining bright literally the 2000 nits are not enough but will it happen or not we're gonna wait and see what is so special about the iphone pro models the camera right so let's see what the iphone 16's camera might look like so the big move onto the camera front for the iphone 15 was the Tetra Prism telephoto lens adopted by the iPhone 15 Pro Max that allowed it to increase its optical zoom to 5x. The more conventional telephoto lens on the iPhone 15 Pro still offers a 3x zoom. With iPhone 16 rumors tipping the Tetra Prism lens to feature on all iPhone 16 Pro models, you'd expect the iPhone 16 Ultra to also use that approach, although maybe with a more powerful zoom to challenge the 10x optical zoom that Samsung's Galaxy S23 Ultra features. Other iPhone 16 camera rumors points to a potentially larger sensor, the 48 megapixel main camera to capture more light and an increase in the megapixel rating on the ultra wide camera to a 48 megapixel matching the move to Google just made with the Pixel 8 Pro. Both these potential changes would probably impact the iPhone 16 Ultra as well. So you know, you're getting better features is affecting the price but people who get the pro phones they use all the camera features they use like the optical zooms a lot which personally haven't found a use for me and mostly i wanted a better camera to film my videos for but they are color creators who really want to be professional with only a phone in their hand you don't need a camera you don't need a professional setup you just need a phone so this camera update definitely will make the users more happy but I won't say that it's something that we haven't seen before with other phones. You can see the Samsung, the Google, they already feature some of these things. But why Apple is delaying them and making people wait so they can buy more iPhones? Or there is another strategy? Comment down below what do you think about this. 
The last thing I will talk about in today's video about the iPhone 16 Ultra, it's about its chipset and battery life. So this is what we know so far. With the A70 Pro debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro lineup, logic would dictate that the iPhone 16 Ultra would use whatever top-of-the-line chipset Apple is developing for its next high-end phones, presumably the A18 Pro, though there are many rumors about the silicon yet. One report from Mac Rumors quotes analyst Jeff Pugh who says that all iPhone 16 models will feature an A18 chip of some sort with the more powerful A18 Pro reserved for the iPhone 16 Pro models. That would seem to include the iPhone 16 Ultra if it's really part of Apple's iPhone lineup. The iPhone 15 Pro models reportedly feature 8GB of RAM, Apple never confirms the amount of memory it includes, so we have to rely on teardowns for that information. You would think that 8GB of RAM would be a minimum requirement for an Ultra model, though we've seen high-end phones offer 12GB of memory in multiple instances. The iPhone 15 Pro Max is the first iPhone to offer 256GB of storage in its base configuration. Again, we expect the iPhone 16 Ultra to follow suit with at least that much storage, so we don't know anything about the battery life yet. I expect it to be the same as the Pro models, or at least it will be a little bit longer. So my battery still has 100% and I'm honestly surprised because I've been using it for more than 9 months already. And I have to say that I'm impressed with the battery life coming from the iPhone XS. So definitely made a good decision. About the silicone chips, I believe that they will continue developing. Of course, they'll put their high-end chips into the Pro models, even the Ultra models, if that becomes a thing. But if they keep to make chips, like or to use the previous chip in the new iPhone, how they use the iPhone 14's Pro chips into their 15 baseline, it'll be weird to put a 17 Pro into a no prone phone. But this is Apple's take. I'm pretty sure they're gonna do a solution, or they're just gonna make a regular A18 chip, no Pro, just a regular for the baseline. But what will happen? We don't know. So we have to wait another year to find out. More rumors will come. More speculations. Maybe we'll find out if the iPhone 16 Ultra will be happening. If there actually will be an iPhone 16. So we gotta wait and see what will happen. Okay guys, that is it in the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below what features would you like to see in the newest iPhone if it gets released. Personally, the only thing I can think of right now that I would like to get is the peak brightness outdoor to be increased. Yes, 2000 nits is not that bad, but if you're in a very sunny place, the sun is reflecting directly on your phone, like you won't see much even if you max out the peak brightness. So this is something I would like to be increased. By how much? Maybe the 2400 with Google 8 Pro has. It's not that bad. I haven't tested it. But maybe a little bit more thinking about the 3000. Is that even a possibility? We'll let Apple decide this. But this is the feature which I would like to be upgraded. To be added more to what it currently has. But that is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a big old thumbs up. AK like this video. Share with friends. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And... Turn on the bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos and I'm gonna see you next time.